I had a really good idea a few weeks ago to take the oldest training map ever made in Rocket League and give it a more modern feel in 2022. This is Aerial Training made by Thanrek, which was uploaded in December 7th of 2016. That's nearly six years ago. Let's do a quick walk around the old map to get a feel for how it used to look. So here's the original map. As you can see, the levels are untextured. Uh, back then, making uh, brushes have materials was a big pain in the butt. <laughs> So Thanrek did uh, a minimum job of, of texturing, but the levels still like play out the way they 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 were intended to. They they function as intended. This map has been out for five six years, uh, so it it definitely uh, definitely has some old flavor to to Rocket League custom maps. The old the old workshop maps are very sandy and very untextured. Um, so I went ahead and and it took a lot of time to basically clean all this up. And uh, make it look a little, a little nicer for uh, modern Rocket League. And and honestly, after playing through these levels um, and testing them, these are still hard and uh, definitely still worth investigating uh, for your own gameplay to see if you can improve your aerials. Because the uh, accuracy you need for some of these turns and some of these corners is insanely uh, precise. So let's jump into the new version. Uh, and I'm gonna put a 15 minute timer on and see if I can beat all the levels in a row without dying once. If I die once, then I have to restart and uh, do level one all over again. So let's see how it goes. Let's jump in the new one and see if we can do it. Now let's take a quick look at the transformation of this old workshop map. And then I'm going to challenge myself to do a flawless run through all 12 levels within 15 minutes. These older workshop maps were made with something called brushes, which take a lot of time and effort to texture each wall individually. But I tried my best to pick some materials which gave the map a bit more of a premium feel. I also updated the lighting and shadows, added some beautiful water, a new skybox, and I tried to follow the pink aesthetic from the level numbers. After I get back from RLCS, I promise I'm going to do my best to upload the nearly 20 maps that I've made and haven't released yet. I'm sorry I'm so behind on those, but it's been a ton of work to get ahead for RLCS. But now let's get into the 15 minute flawless challenge. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, timer starts now. There we go. Okay, level one. So if I die, like I said, I have to restart the whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in 15 minutes. We'll see. I'm a little terrified. I'll play it really safe, though. Number one is done. Number two. These are uh, still pretty tricky. Even, uh, even like, I think this has been probably uh, five years later, maybe even six since this was made. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm already nervous and we're on we're on three. Alright, this seems pretty easy so far. We'll go this way. Very nice. And level four on the bottom here. This one's the toughest one of this floor. So we're gonna take it nice and slow. This part's really nerve-wracking too. Okay. Real slow. No! That one's tricky. It's uh, the hitbox is not the greatest. I'll probably fix it before I release it. Uh, maybe I should start with that one. I mean, we can, we can do it any order, I guess. But I've already wasted a lot of time. So let's see if I can do this again. I'm gonna do number four now. Get it out of the way. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, I went through the bottom of that one there. Clipped it a bit. Okay. There's plenty of room here. Just take our time. Very good. So we've done one and four. Let's do number two now. These ones are pretty easy. It's going to get a lot harder at the top. Nice. Clean. And three. Extreme focus. The levels get harder as we go up too. So uh, I've already used two minutes of my time. Not a great start. I am playing this super safe, just doing normal normal aerials. Let's take one of the elevators here. I've retextured these as well on the inside, so it has uh, white instead of uh, instead of red. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. It still functions the exact same way, though. The map is still the exact same as it was when it was originally made by Thanrec. Uh, but it, I, th I just think I like to I like to match the design colors and stuff. So I put a lot of pink uh, glow in the levels. Alright, we did five. 
Let's be real safe here and go in the, the widest part possible. If we finish this one, we'll be halfway done. Okay. Oh, okay. That's six done. Oh, okay. That was almost a blunder there. Number seven. I'm actually extremely nervous. I don't know why. No! No! Oh my gosh, man. I hit the floor on that one. Okay. All right. So do it in the order. Number three. It's a lot harder than it looks. Or if it looks hard, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one's pretty straightforward. Nice. We go for four. This one's a bit tough, though. Be really careful. Okay. Play it slow. Nice. 10 minutes on the clock. I'm really nervous. I know I keep saying that. All right, here we go. Okay, let's do eight first. Oh boy. This one right here is the tough one. Oh. One more. No. No way! Okay, I'm doing four again at the start. I feel like I gotta do gotta go do eight after this and come back down. Okay, we're doing some crazy maneuvers. Let's go up to eight. I'm just gonna fly up. All right, eight's right here. All right. Come on, man. We gotta do this. Oh, that's so nerve-wracking. Okay. I feel like my, my nose clipped through that. Okay, so now we gotta do the rest of them. Let's do five, six, seven. Then we gotta go to, go to the bottom floor. I don't like where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> I was planning on this being a pretty short video, but if we hit the 15 minutes here, I mean, it's... Kudos to the map, because the map is quite tough. Even even uh, even now, after having so much experience in the game, it's still nerve-wracking and still uh, very, very precise. Good. We just did six. We did five, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, so this is just seven here. Woo! I'm going to go back down and do one, two, three. Don't freak out. There's plenty of time. Good. Two. Uh, it's easy. Why am I freaking out? Two. And then three. Oh, no. I only have four levels left after this if I, if I don't mess this up. Giving yourself a time limit to do things puts that pressure on you instead of just you know going through it as you as you need to and it makes the gameplay a lot more stressful and a lot more um i don't know a lot more difficult to just ace it the way you would if you had no pressure on you so it's really good to put those kind of things on yourself uh, number nine here what are we doing yeah, i can't remember the order here okay we're going up i hate when the camera does that Okay. Oh. 
Okay, nine done. Ten. Only three left. Stop, camera. Stop doing that. Ten. Done. Uh, eleven. Please. Please. Oh. Okay. Eleven done. One more to go. And it's the, the long tube. I thought I was about to mess up. That was so nerve wracking. If I had to redo that, I would have had very little time to finish it off. But I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little look at the remastered map here. Thanrek did a really amazing job with the tools he had available to him a long time ago. Uh, unfortunately, uh, back then, brushes, which is what these are all made out of, are really difficult to work with. And me remastering this took a lot longer than I expected, considering how um, simple the map really looks. But it took a really long time. There's a lot of reworking that I had to do. A lot of troubleshooting. Uh, I streamed a bit of it on my Twitch. If you want to, if you want to follow over there at twitch.tv slash nothing underscore RL. Oh my god, I can't speak. Um, a lot of fun. Hope you guys are enjoying the daily videos as always. Um, it's been a lot of work to get ahead for Dallas, especially working on these kind of maps and stuff in the meantime. But uh, I'm obviously at this point going to be in Dallas for quite a while. I, I think I, I, I started being there in the third of August and I'm there until the 18th. So I've recorded ahead for all of those episodes. Um, a lot of work. Uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, a lot more to come from, uh, you know, for the future days here, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.